I don't know, a bag of Oreo cookies or something and just be like looking for the quick fix. I'm like, I'm going to have that conversation in my head of like, come on. I, I feel like I'm a little, like, I'm a little bit more lenient with myself than you are with yourself. But even that in that, yeah, maybe, but in that leniency, <laughs> I find that some separation, like a real period of time spent away from that stuff. And I'm now craving vegetables and leaner meats and non-processed foods because I feel, I feel actually better. Of course you do. When I eat them and when I eat the other stuff, which is really, really seldom, I don't feel well. It becomes, you know, it's very weird. Like way more people are dying every year from obesity related disease, heart disease. Heart disease is like a massive killer than they are from smoking cigarettes and lung cancer. Mm -hmm. Like that's still killing people. But, but we've utterly demonized cigarettes like it's it's taboo basically i mean you can smoke on the street but you can't smoke indoors pretty much anywhere in america mm -hmm. and and like this is a thing i don't think a cigarette is going to kill anybody i don't think that that's the case just like i don't think a snickers bar is going to kill anybody or a meal at taco bell but our our interaction with it isn't a meal at Taco Bell. It's like the, becomes the majority of how we eat. I know. Uh, well, first of all, I wanted to say that one part that made me giggle uh, before you said all the great things that you just said. When I said, is it fair? Uh, is that a fair statement? I love that your voice went up an octave when you said, maybe. Uh, I thought that was funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so I know that there are people that will argue uh, food addiction, uh, you know, you can't be addicted to food. I'm like this. Oh, I mean, I think it can like trigger things. So for maybe, uh, there is a population of people that has that one snicker bar and then, then they're like, oh my God, I'm going to eat six snicker bars. And then I'm yeah. going to just say, and, and then I've realized that I've like fucked up my diet completely. And then I'm just going to just go all in. I know people that have that mentality where, oh, you think I fucked up my diet? I'm going to lean in so hard and I'm going to show you just how much I'm going to fuck this up. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's like the cut your nose off to spite your face kind of thing. And like, I understand that way of thinking too. It's like, I have had people that I've worked with say, uh, be careful with Bob because he will cut his nose to spite his face. <laughs> right. right. So so uh, it's it's what that, one snicker bar could trigger uh, the domino effect uh, with some with a lot of people.